Hello everyone, it's great to see you, West Ham Fan TV. Uh, this is our big match preview. Today we're previewing, previewing the very first Barclays Premier League fixture at our new stadium. And we're playing Bournemouth. You know, a side that last season turned us over at home in a dramatic game. You know, 4-3, 7 goals. What a game. Granted, a lot of mistakes from Creswell and uh, Jenkins. You know, we fought hard to get back into that game. But it was it was a cracker, and then obviously last time out at um, Bournemouth three one, Valencia scoring an excellent free kick, one of the only goals he did score last season. So you know it's just, it, even Stevens last season, so it's going to be an interesting tie. Bournemouth's last game, obviously first game of the season, they lost three one to Manchester United, the new Manchester United. So you know you can't take much about that. Um, obviously. A lot of pressure on us going into this game. You know, first game at the Olympic Stadium, it, well, first game in the Premier League Olympic Stadium. So there's a lot of pressure riding on us, and it's not one we, you know, we beat Dom Zali, which was the main thing. That was the first one, but this one we need to first Premier League game. We need to make sure we're there. Um, injury wise, from what I can pick up, Payet and Nordvet are both uh, fit and available. There was rumours flying about that Czech was uh, injured, but he was on the bench on Thursday, so he should should be all okay. Um, Bournemouth, they've not got many injuries. I know Stanislas, former West Ham player, is not playing. Um, you know they've got a couple of other little injuries, but they're not to their main players. When we look at their team, look at their strong players. You, they've signed Jordan Ibe from uh, Liverpool, who's a very exciting player, very very quick. Uh, they've got a, a, a phobie who they signed, was their record signing last season. And obviously Max Grady, who likes to pull the strings in the midfield. But the one to watch for me is someone I picked out last season. He banged in an hat trick against us. He's uh, Callum Wilson. You know, he's someone who I've raved about for quite a while. And if it, bar an injury last season, I think he would have gone on to hit a big time and probably got a move to a bigger club somewhere else. He's someone I would love to see at West Ham. You know, if he can hit the form that he had in the Championship two seasons ago and what it looked like he started in the Premiership, he'd be a massive signing for West Ham. And he's someone who we should take a punt on, in, in my opinion. Starting 11 wise, obviously um, the Europa League game, there's a lot of changes. Adrian to come back in goal. I think Byron had a good game midweek, so I fancy him to start right back. Centre half pairing, you know, Reedy was a little bit shaky against Chelsea, but I think he'll get his place back in the side. Then it's the tough one, or Bonner or Collins. I don't think Oxford did enough for me in the game midweek to warrant a start. Bournemouth are very, very pacey, so <laughs> Collins might struggle. So I'd start with a Bonner and a Masasaku on the left. Midfield, Antonio on the right for me all day long. Um, it's a tough one on the left. Pyatt, if he's fit enough to start, he's got to stay go behind um, the striker, the big guy, Andy Carroll. No one Chiarate to start in the mid in the centre of midfield. Out on the left, I hope it ain't Valencia. Gokan Torre did enough for me to warrant a start on Bournemouth, but again, it relies on his fitness. And obviously, the big man up top, Andy Carroll. Let's, let's, see, let's get the ball to him. You know, let's throw some crossing. We threw a lot of crosses in uh, against Astra when the big man weren't on the pitch, and we caused problems. So let's do it this week. Bournemouth, they're not that clever at the back. Andy Carroll, it's another game where he can terrorise defenders. So we've got to make sure we give him that service. Don't forget to check out all our other videos. It's been a busy week for us. You're probably fed up with seeing our faces. Um, uh, on the Social was filmed uh, last night as well, so that will be going up over the weekend. And obviously catch us for post-match pint Bournemouth, which will be going up Sunday late evening we'll be filming straight after the game follow us on facebook twitter all over social media don't forget click on the subscribe button on youtube leave your score predictions and your starting lineup predictions in the comments section below and i almost forgot my score prediction i'm going for a very very confident opening fixture to the olympic stadium 3-0 west ham andy carroll and antonio to get on the score sheet there's only one thing left to say come on your eyes